Hello, y'all. This is Tina from Heavenly Mamas. Okay, I gotta get my cabinets open because I got you all up on a shelf in my cupboard. Okay, let me hop down off my stool because I am short. Okay, um, give me one second here to put my hair up. I don't have a pause, guys. Sorry. Okay, now, get me glasses back on. Um, we, I made a uh, 10 pound batch my life for it and then my oils um, I'm using rice bran oil, castor oil coconut oil, palm oil and sweet almond oil and then I've got my lime, my water, my sodium lactate um, and my tussa silk my brain wasn't working there for a minute and then in my oils I have colloidal oatmeal a little bit of coconut powder and white kaolin clay. Now I split all these off into seven. Seven of the oils, seven of the lies. It's all still one batch. I just split it into seven because I've watched a couple videos on this fragrance, um, which is honeysuckle and jasmine from the scented. And it riced in some of the different colors. So I figure if I gotta do the colors twice in the little pictures, hey, so be it, then I will. Um, I got me a new stick blender from Amazon. It's a KitchenAid. And there's no cord to it, yay. Oh, what, you need your medicine? Yeah, I forgot to take it. I got my thingy up here in the cabinet, that's why I got it up there. Um, where was I? Yes, there is no cord. You simply hit the lock button, and the lights come on. It's got five different um, settings. These are the battery charging lights. You pull out on this, and it releases the battery. Kind of awesome, huh? I think so. Because I don't like that cord. Oops. I'm messing up my settings. Okay, now lock it. It goes off. The handle's kind of long, but yeah, hey, you'll have that. Let me move my phone tablet cord out the way here. I got you all above me. Um. Okay, for my colors, I'm going to use a rainforest from Nurture Soap. Mixed with a, it's mainly the lime green mojito mica from Crafter's Choice. I think I got it from Descended. And just a little bit of the rainforest. So that way it's just not a really bright, bright. This is the color right here with the mixed. I don't know if you can see that, but it's actually a pretty green. Um, and then I've got this little sample pack of sparkling dark gold mica from Crafter's Choice. Hope y'all can see these things. Then I'm using sexy pink slipper mica and a new tone yellow mica. Let me move these out the way if I can find room for them here. Uh, <laughs> Okay, we'll put them right there, right by my, um, what do you call it, my pounder thingy. Okay, now, first off, take the first picture, and I've got a little bit of light went in this, but that's okay, because, oh yes, and I used a uh, couple ounces of coconut milk also. Got my coconut milk yesterday. Um, I already blended it, I'm just stirring it to, yeah, incorporate it a little bit more. Um, let me see. And then I've got my pitcher of oils from, and my titanium and my fragrance from my piping. I'm hoping there's enough to do my piping. And then I've got these rose buds. Been waiting on these things. I really have. And these rose buds I'm going to put in them. I don't know if you can see them or not. Along with, um, hang on one second guys. If that don't want to cooperate. I'm going to put... These are like little soap roses. I don't know if you could see those, but they're really, really pretty. They're really thin. Um, but I'm going to put these, one in each bar, and then put the rosebuds on either side. I'm going to use the big rosebuds I showed you. And then I've got these little pink ones. These little pink ones. I got these off of Amazon. Wasn't looking for them. I just, it came up in something that I was actually looking for. So I figured, hey, why not? Something different. Okay, first off. I'm going to see if this stuff rices or not. They didn't do it in all the oils that i seen. Um, all the colors. It was just a couple colors. Okay, going to mix the lye in. And I will bring this up for a quick second. As soon as I scrape this thing out. 
Now, I will decide on whether I'm going to do one color at a time or all four colors at a time once I figure out whether it's going to rice on me. But then again, if it doesn't rice in this one, it could rice in the next one. Some micas make things rice or thicken up. Oh, I should have mixed the color in first. Darn it, Tina. I hope I got my volume up. I don't feel like getting back on the stool right now, though. Okay, I'll do the yellow. I'll save half of my colorant for the next section of colors. I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to do this just yet because... Oh, the stick window won't fit. They are just sticking my thing up under the counter. Well, it's really, really quiet, too. I love it. It's kind of big, but that's all right. So we turn it up a little bit. Oh, it's wrong way. Trying to mix the lion really good without making it too awful thick. Okay, and it is somewhat at a trace. Unlock it, Tina. I haven't figured the easiest way out to get this off yet. Oh. My light took forever to cool down. I didn't want to put it in the fridge. But this blend, stick blender is so quiet. I love it. No cord to get in my way. I just got to figure the easiest way out of taking the stem of it off. And to stir it up, make sure it's incorporated. Okay, don't know where my rags went. I suppose I could go get another one. Even on five, that thing is not that loud. I, I love it. This is actually the first time I used it. But I just got it today. Or actually it's after midnight, so it was yesterday. I don't even know why I just did that. Okay, now for the fragrance. Let's see what it does, guys. That smells awesome. It smells just like gardenias. I mean, there's a hint of jasmine, but it's more of the gardenia than the jasmine. It smells great. Okay, now I'm going to try to mix up another color real quick. That way I can at least add two colors at once. So, give me another spatula. Hopefully it won't get thick too quick. Oh, I did it again. Didn't add the color first. Oh, and I should have gloves on. Oh, well. Just be careful. Look how shiny that is. Okay. Let me get some gloves on real quick. Because I am messy and I really don't want this stuff to get on my skin right now. Okay, this one always wants to go on backwards. Then I'm on my pinky. Okay, now this is the uh, sparkling. I don't know if you can see that. But it really does. It really does sparkle. Just going to use part of that. Okay, let me blend this up real good. Oh no. And it's thickening. Darn it, darn it, darn it. Okay, let me get this in here real quick. Because I would like to mix these two um, together.
fragrant. Always do layers. Got to add a little bit of this just to thin that out. I hope. Anyhow. I always have a problem with yellow. Why? Darn it. Making a royal mess. Come on, Lord, help me out here. Oh, you guys laughing at me yet? You know what? I'm just gonna pour this in the mold. I used alcohol on this, so this really does not matter right now. Um, but I'm going to pour this in the mold. <laughs> stay firm, stay firm, please. Just for a minute longer. I hate fragrances like this. Oops. I really, really do. And maybe I can mix it up once it's in the mold. Maybe not. It's pretty out there. Curious about how this one's gonna come out. Oh yeah, it's a good thing I do this for entertainment. Okay. This is why I separated the batches. This is really hot. Oh no, 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 no. You are not doing this. Nope, 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 get in there. Not the way I wanted the soap to go. At all. But, you can't let it beat you. All you can do is do what you can do. And that is all you can do. At least you can say you tried. Okay, I'm getting rid of the spatula. Yeah, I guess I'm just going to have to do the layers. Because this is just... <laughs> I'm going to try to pound it down, but I just know it's not going to work. There's a little hole there. I get some liquid batter in there. And of course, I'm making a mess out of this. Uh, soap on a stick. Oh, well. I had one of those just recently, too. Not that that soap actually came out pretty good. It was really pretty soap, believe it or not. Sometimes you just have that. Okay, the rest of this yellow I'm just so not concerned about right now, because it is a rock. So, we will set that in the sink for now, with the spatula. Let me wipe my hands off. Try to wipe some of this off, as much as I can. I am here to amuse you all. Doesn't happen all the time. But like I said, sometimes you just have that. Um, now, let me do this. Try to bring it down. Ain't gonna work though. Because it got too thick. But this next one won't. Because it's going in there straight after. I mix it. Ooh, the steam coming off that. Okay. Can you wipe my stick blender off here? Just my napkin. Yeah. Oops, that one over there. Grab another one. I'm hoping I can keep my icing pipeable long enough to ice it. 
get enough, Tina, good enough. But obviously, you're going to have your fingerprints on it. Okay, now, get this cabinet in my way. Put the lie in there. Okay, let me move this up on fire. Oh, nope, that's down. I'm still trying to figure the buttons out. I wasn't really mixing the oils up on four. So... Okay, now my colors. Do not fall, please. Please do not fall. Turn you off in case you do. Okay. So, does that be so open so far? Just live challenges. To will probably, almost positively, have. Might as well dump that in there to get it over with. Right, right. Turn it on. Pretty pink, pretty pink. The prettier if it stays the way I want it for a minute, and I am just going to do something that I don't do, and that's just lay this stick blender down. Because, yeah. Get this pink, pretty pink. I know I sprayed it back there, but that's okay. Uh oh. Be like a Rocky Mountain kind of soap. Definitely gonna have mountains. Probably some air holes. But it smells good. Full oh, snap it. I don't look too pretty. That's a fact. Maybe I should have done full water on this one. Okay, I was really hoping to have an easy time with this one. Oops. Containers ain't going to be as easy to clean. I can't get all the soap out of them. Okay, let me go. In the other room and top this down so I don't hopefully annoy my brother too much. Because I've really got to bang this, so I can't pause you, but I will be right back. Just take me a second, guys. You can still hear me. Damn. <coughs> okay, that didn't really work very well. That's okay. That's okay. Let me get this thing out of here. Definitely a fragrance that can make you mad. Whoa. Way to go, Tina. Turn this thing off, I can't get it. When it's under my counter like I did my other one, it's too big. And it comes apart. This part comes off, this part comes off. It really comes in handy. And then this part just ain't staying in. Let me get a clean paper towel here. I've got this thing all greasy. Oh, greasy. Trying to wipe off my stick blender a little bit, guys. Not that it's going to do too much good because my gloves are all nasty bad. Okay, turn this off for a minute. Don't kill the battery. Okay, scoop this back there. Wipe this up. Because that's been bugging me. Try to clean this off a little bit. Man, I'm wondering if I'm going to be able to pipe this bad boy. Ooh, the steam coming off this thing. 
can tell they're some of the goat milk and the coconut milk. I just like both of them milks together. They make good soap. Okay, good enough, good enough, good enough. Now I just gotta wipe my eyes. I've so many paper towels. Especially when things like this happen. Yeah, I spray some alcohol on my hands. Get the residue off. Or spray it. That's 99% alcohol. Oh no, that bottle was 91. I got the 99 in my shop. Okay, next batch, guys. Ooh, doggies. Beauty green. Ooh, I'm mixing it up first. Okay, new spatula. These don't have to draw water in this one bowl with the yellow, guys, so ignore my water there. Pretty green. Pretty green. As long as it don't morph. I think I will stir this in. The sparkles in the green. Pretty. Okay. Now the part that ruins the soap. Good old fragrance oil. I used a um gardenia fragrance oil. It's gardenia and something. I think it's gardenia and pineapple. And I didn't phase my soap. It worked great. Okay. I'm gonna stir it a little bit longer. Then I'm pouring it in there. Why it's liquefied. I think when I mix up my piping, um, I'll just make us two videos and splice it together and mix it up, put it in the refrigerator to cool it down. That way it doesn't have time to get really hot and go nuts on me. This seems to be working this way. I should have done it all this way. Let you live and you learn, huh? Try to get it right along the sides. Get down in them little holes. Now that's how it should have all worked. I just figured I'd stick blend it. Because of the racing I seen, but hey, sometimes you don't want to go with your gut feeling. And this is one of them, and I did. After every little color, guys. So let me go bang this. And I'll be back. I gotta try to bang this down. Oh, uh, before it sets up on the way. I think it's too late for that. Okay. Oh. I could damn in my room and bang it because my brother isn't bad and I'm not trying to. I mean, I'm sure he can still hear me, but hopefully not as annoying. Because <laughs> it is early, early, early in the morning, which is when I do my best work. We take care of my aunt and stuff in the day, so I really can't do it then. Okay, that's going to be a strange looking soap, guys. Really, it is. But the top will look pretty, I guarantee it. Okay, put that one in there. Don't water it. Okay, now. We got to level this bad boy out. Um, okay, I guess I'll do the yellow again. You got one more pitcher left for colors. We'll do the yellow, and then I'll drop some of the, um, I don't know, the gold maybe down into it. And then I'll do the pink and the green. I had it planned, but... It got kind of ruined a little bit. I just hope my piping works out. I'm just doing dollops and then putting like roses on them. Maybe a little bit of sprinkle, but hey. If I can get it to cool down after I do it, then it might work. Got another spatula. Normally I do it this way and it works out for me. If I wouldn't have stick blended them, that would have been alright, I think. But, yeah, I didn't, and, yeah, it didn't, and that's too late. So I just make it the best that I can. Okay. 
Okay. Did I put the wrong unit? Ooh. One goes to that one. No, I didn't. Most of the light went stuck to the side, so I'm not really worried about the little bit that went in it. Now we'll just throw this one the same way. Then I will go pound it down. Because the yellow is what got really thick on me before. It's like half of it's still hard in the picture. So, well, let's see how this works. Yes, I'm slacking, I know. I usually scrape everything out really good. But, I just don't have time to right now. Whoa. Oh, and I forgot the gold in it. Hang on a minute. I might still be able to do this. Maybe. If I'm quick. Can I be quick? Okay, good enough. I can't get time straight. Sure you scrape that up. It's fighting with me, Daddy. It's fighting with me. What? It's a fighting with me. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. The bottom part ain't going to look very good, I don't think. But the top part might. I stick blended the first three colors and they got really thick, so I just plopped them on the bottom, tried to beat them down. This isn't so bad. I mean, what do you got? I've got one more tip color to put on the top. Okay, let me go scrape this down. Let me scrape that pound this down real quick before it dries completely. Now we're having a lot of Let me get this out of the way first. Off one more color, then I can mix up the icing, cut you guys off, bring you back on another video to do the icing. Assuming, uh, assuming it putting it in the refrigerator after I mix it will cool it down so it doesn't get so hot and so thick. Am I on your way, Dad? No, yeah. okay. Now, I do like his blender though. Um, okay, that's for the icing. This is for the pink and the green. The pink and the green is going on top. Didn't manage to get this tiny little swirl into the yellows. You get a lot of gold, Daddy. Huh? Okay. No, that's for the piping. Oh. I want to have to mix that up and have it real thin and put it in the freezer so it don't get real hot and get thick on me. Like the other ones did. Or I want to try that anyhow. It didn't rice though, but boy did it accelerate. Did something say that it would? Um, the one video I watched, yeah, it accelerated. But it also riced. But I don't know, it might turn out like that other soap did. That turned out pretty nice and it did the same thing. Yeah. And it turned out really pretty. You just never know. You can't give up on it, though. I know that much. You give up on it? Yeah. I just hope they can see all this. I think I got all the counter in here. Watch my stool there, by the way. This is the part I hate. What? The fragrance. <laughs> it always scares me. Unless I've used it before. I've used gardenia before, but never the gardenia jasmine, and it's like reacting totally the opposite. Totally the opposite. Okay, now, I'll have to try something here. Yeah. Going to give this a little stir and pour. 
Now, maybe more than a little stir. I need some kind of color in this thing with a pattern. Okay, guys, here we go. Ooh, I like that. It's more or less making markings in it so that my icing will stick when I do get it ready. I might, might stunt your growth. I do this mainly when it um, heats up and thickens up real quick like this. My icing's more apt to stick to it. And that's why I do that. Okay guys, I'm going to stop this video and I will connect another video to this video of me doing the icing. But for now, I'll see you in a bit. I don't have a pause, that's why I'm doing this this way. Can't have you sitting there while I, yeah. But I will bring you back. And this is the top. It don't look too bad from there. But, we'll see. Actually, it looks kind of good from there. Yeah, we'll see. I will bring you back shortly. Okay, I am back for the piping. Um, hopefully this works because this stuff's already solid as a rock. Um, the icing, I had to add a little extra water to. And that seems to be okay now. Now put some powder on my hands, I got lye on my hands, and yeah, it's, it's a medicated powder I'm using, because the gloves make me sweat, and I'm allergic to them, but anyhow, hopefully, this will stick, let me spray a little nab of the alcohol to hopefully help it along, sometimes that works, sometimes it don't, um, I took what little bit of green I had left, and kind of Blended it up in it. Whether it does anything for it or not, I don't know, but hey, it can't hurt this soap. Okay. Got a little bit more piping in my bowl over here. Hopefully it will still be pliable by the time I'm done. Trying to do this quickly. Sorry, this is such a long video. It should not have been, but you will have that when things don't work the way you plan on. But I apologize. Yeah, the water I added to it to thin it out um, wasn't hardly anything at all. Um, maybe like a 0.10 ounces, if that. But you got to do what you got to do. Break this down. This is working out so much better than 
I don't know. I can just hope for the best. in here if it's not all hard. Let's hope it's not. Okay, it's not. It's a not. Sometimes adding a little extra water does help as long as it's not too much when this happens. Unfortunately with my yellow that would not have worked. It would not have worked. It would not have worked at all. It just went, ooh, boom, bam, it's done. But once again, it's not going to beat me. Next time, I will use full water, and I will not stick blend. I will whisk blend. And, I have another note, I will put my lye water in the refrigerator and take off a couple ounces and ice cubes to it once it is down to a decent temperature that way it don't overheat and do this okay now don't you know how much batter I've got left not as much as I wanted um, can y'all see this I'm trying to get y'all in there but I can't stand on a stool right now my hips are bothering me Sorry about that. Standing is just something I cannot do that long at a time, and that soap did me in. Or this soap did me in. Yes, it did, but I'm still doing it. Okay. these dollars a little bit bigger okay now I want one rose Quit, you two! Precious! No! Mm. This is right there. Right here, maybe. Just trying to get enough on here to stick these roses onto. But I forgot to mark my loaves. Okay, that might be good enough. Um, it's gonna have to be good enough. Actually, I write it on more. Okay, so there. And there. Okay, that should work. Now, I've got to take these gloves off to do these embeds. So, needless to say, I will use alcohol on my hands. And wipe them off. That way they're disinfected. Okay, first off, let's do the beautiful roses. Okay, these are really thin. Um, I'm not trying to mess them up too much. 
but yet try to get them in the soap enough they don't want to fall out. And these bars will obviously be just a little bit thicker than normal because of the roses. I will not cut them. No, no, no. And this over here section will be part of this, this sliver. Those will be samples. So, yeah. That is why I'm not putting them there. Just figured this would be a neat idea. Hopefully it'll work. It'll be pretty. Anyhow, you know, different for me. Got to make something that messed me up. I'm making it pretty on the outside. Nope, 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 nope. I'll pull it apart, Tina. Let's move it over. Move it on over. Oops. Come on. There you go. These things are very frail. Very frail. Now, I'm not going to try to cut them when I cut, but you never know, you never know what can happen in the mix of cutting soap. Okay, the last one. Like I said, from about here, over, right now that will be... Okay, I like these boxes, so I think I'll keep that. Okay, um, now. I stuck my finger right in that crap. Always get this stuff on my arm. Let me rinse my arms off real quick. Okay, we got those on there. Now, for the little rosy buds. I'm going to try to put, let me mark my lines real quick. Oh, to give me an idea of where I'm putting these roses. Okay, let me see, right? There, all right. Mm, is that even just pretty much? Yeah, that's good. These over here will be samples. But I'll stick a rosebud on them anyhow. Um, let me see how I'm going to do this. the little ones Drop on. I'm trying to put them kind of close to the rows. That way it doesn't really. 
but we will cut them in half. I'll be live roses. So one of my favorite flowers. It's the first time I've actually ever used the actual rose buds. Um, but that's okay. That's okay, man. That's okay. I was trying to get them so it worked. I think I got it. Uh, George, I think I got it. Don't know what it's gonna look like on the inside, but I guarantee the outside's gonna look good. Hmm. If I didn't accomplish anything at all in this soap, it will be that. Okay. And maybe the other one. Even the samples can have a rose. These are junk ones. Let me get a couple more. Yeah, two more, I think, is all I need. I'm going to put the bigger ones in between these ones. And then they're down this side, of course. There you go. Eh, might as well stick one right there. Because that'll be a sample piece. That'll be a sample piece. And the ends over here probably will be too. So I'll just stick a little one there too. What the heck? And if not, then yeah. Actually, I will put it over here. There. Okay, now. These actually smell really good. And these are scented. Um, I believe so. I can't really smell right now. My smell is not working. Okay. But these are a really good deal. Um, through Amazon. Now these really mm, smell good. did not quit video. Not to now. No, these are pretty big rosebuds here. Pretty big rosebuds. Bigger than I thought. But that's okay. Because, hey, can't never have enough roses in your life now, can you? I should put one and another one and but I didn't, so this will work. I'll remember that next time. Next time. I'm making the other ones open up a little bit. Okay, I should cut right down both sides perfectly. If you guys like my video and the entertainment I have in them, please hit the subscribe button, give me a big thumbs up, and hit that notification bell for further videos, future videos, entertainment videos. Um, I would much appreciate it. If you have any comments, questions, or something you want me to try and soap anyhow, um, oops. I'm a trooper. I don't give up. I will be more than happy to try to do whatever it is you would be asking. Um, but those of you who have subscribed, I thank you very much. A little too. I like that idea. A few flower petals in between. Might as well use them up, hey? Um, yes, I thank you very much from the bottom of my heart, and on, for you being on my little world entertainment journey, on my soapy mission. 
Um, really helps me keep going. Okay, now it's missing something, Tina. Um, maybe some little jasmine buds. But those are kind of blend in. Um, in my way. Um, let me see here. Let me spray it down real quick. And I hope it won't mess with it none. Okay, now my white diamond glitter. It's pretty glitter. Pretty glitter. Make my rose a sparkle. Okay. Okay, now, and this, my dears, let me watch my hand for a minute. This is my, oh, I forgot what it was, gardenia and jasmine, and honeysuckle and jasmine. So, see, it doesn't look too bad on the outside. Maybe it needs a different color of, um, glitter, maybe, you think? I love them roses on there. Might be a little good, but that's okay. They're pretty. Um, I'm kind of impressed with the way this turned out on the top, anyhow. I will indeed bring you back for the cutting, um, which will be a couple seconds for you guys. 24, well, actually as hard as it is, there won't be no 24 hours. Stop it, you two! Um, I've got to add just a... Gosh. I just don't know how to leave anything alone. Um, sorry, you see my sink? A little purple glitter. To give it a little more color. It just doesn't come out of here right. Ooh, that did. Must have been clogged. Okay, now, how's that look, guys? Better? See, got this some little purple specks. Not a whole lot, just a little. I love the glitter. Okay, guys, I hope you had a lot of laughs with me. Um, if you like my video, give me a thumbs. Oops, a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. I appreciate it. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the link down below. Um. And I will see you shortly for the cutting. Thank you. Have a blessed evening and bless it be. Okay, guys, we're back for the cutting of this soap. That really worked me to death. Um, let me get my gloves on. This is my honeysuckle jasmine soap. The first three layers, like, really, yeah, messed up bad. As you can see from my video, I had problems with it. Should not have stick blended, but I did. And you'll have that. But all in all, for what the problems I had with it, it doesn't really look that bad so far. I did already cut it into two loaves. Um... I will show you and this I don't know if you can see it I hope you can the bottom is like really botched up the top looks okay but then the inside 
as you can see, the bottom right here is like, but I can like cut that off and just make a smaller height to tight bars. Okay, so let's see if I can cut this bad boy without cutting my embeds. The roses, I'm not, rosebuds, I'm really not too concerned about. And I should turn it on its side. Dag on it. Yes, let me do that. I will have drag marks are all, but I can't talk. All throughout the soap. No, we don't want that. Okay. Now, try this again. I can't see. Turn it this way. So I can see where I'm cutting. Now these are obviously going to be, let me cut this off even here, obviously bigger bars than normal because of the roses I have on them. I do not want to cut them. So let's see, and I'm knocking the rosebuds off. Barely missed that one. Yes, yeah, very big, big bars. Thick. These are about... Let me see here. About one and a quarter inch. Thick. But that's okay. See the top? I hope you can see that. Huh. See the inside? No holes. Oh, one little one there. No holes. See, Daddy? No holes. How about that? One little one on the side. That's okay. I can fix that. They're thicker bars, but that's because of the roses on them. Yeah, I know. But that's okay. You gotta have that every now and then. They just get extra free soap. Okay. Little flower petals are obviously going to cause me a problem here. But let me get a tissue and just clean that out. I got to turn this fan on. Like... Just for a minute. Okay, this oh, one's yeah, here going to fall off as well. Now this soap dried way. It got hard. I mean, way before I even had the icing done on it. These are pretty though. Like I said, you'll get a lot of free soap out of these bars. Is the icing gonna stay on? Yeah, it's going to stay on it. Okay. It's a little blowhole there. But that's okay. Nothing real severe. Nothing really severe. Pretty thick bars. But they should last you for a really long time. See these little blowholes here I can always fix. They're very pretty. Now I'm going to call this my rose garden. These are made from honeysuckle and jasmine fragrance oils. But it's going to be called my rose garden. Because roses always gave me a problem when it comes to growing them. And I'm going to try to this year as well. So. Welcome to my rose garden. And in the bottom here, that will be like cut off. So that's not a biggie. And then I did end up putting a little another blowhole. I did end up putting some white poppy seeds, green poppy seeds, and a little bit of silver glitter and the green wine white glitter. I don't know who that is. Sorry about my phone. Thing annoys me. It usually ain't nobody but scam people. If I don't recognize the number, I don't answer it. So I got an answering machine, a voicemail. Yes, this bar of soap is already hard, and I kind of like the design for as screwed up as it gave, yeah. For the problems that it gave me, these will be edged off as well. But I love the roses on the top. Now these will be in my shops on Etsy.com and BigCartel.com. 
on the middle of April, we'll say the 15th, when I update some of my other soaps. And they should be well good to go. This one's a botched up one. But that's okay. I'll keep that for myself. I give it to my daughter, whichever one. But I always try out my own things before I sell them. Like my soaps, my body whips, my body butters, my chapsticks or lip balms, whichever you want to call it. See, I can just cut that off right there and it'd be good to go. Still a good size bar. Now this is going to be somewhat of a long video because of the problems it gave me. So I hope you all don't mind. All in all, I'm kind of happy with it because there's not a bunch of holes all throughout it like I thought there would be. Look at the roses. hope you can see that rose with the glitters in it. And the layers actually did not come out that bad either. For having to plop most of them in there like I did. And some of the samples will have the little rosebuds, but some of them fall off. So, not going to guarantee. See the layers? That's pretty different, but pretty. <coughs> Hopefully the colors, by the time it's done curing, will come out a little bit brighter. Like I want them to be. I don't want that rosebud. And these are pretty good sized samples as well that you will get in a order when you order from me. It may not be the same kind of samples in every order, but you will get samples of my lip balm, my body whips, or body butters, whipped body butters to be exact, and my soaps. Now I'm going to put together my gift boxes tomorrow, which will consist of... A bar of soap, a small candle, a whipped body butter, um, and let me see, lip balm, whipped body butter, soap, bath balm, and a candle. All five of those will be in my gift sets. Um, and they will probably be 20 to 25 dollars a piece plus shipping. have to figure that one out yet. But I will. Okay, let me lift this up and get all of this stuff out of here. And back to my new battery operated stick blender with no cord. Y'all really got to get you one of those. They're oh, awesome. You gotta go in your bedroom. Dad's in there. Yes! Hang on one second. Go in your bedroom. Dad's in the bathroom. Okay, go in here. Yeah. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. It was my auntie. Okay, let me see. Let me get this off. Throw this in the trash can. No need for all this stuff. Get away from the rosebud precious. People try to bat them all over the house. Oops. Okay, now, my second loaf out of this ordeal. Let's see if it comes out as good as the first. I mean, this isn't the best looking soap, but for all the problem it gave me, it turned out really good. I'm impressed. Very, very impressed. Nope, they did blow a hole in that one, but that's okay. I can fix it. Let me try to do this without turning it. Then just take an extra piece and just put right down inside there. No, that's not gonna work. That's too 
Yeah, too dried already. Oops, maybe if I put a little bit of water on it. But that's okay, it's still pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. And like I said, the bottom will be cut off about right there. And it'll still be a pretty good chunk of soap, well over 5 ounces. Anything over 5 ounces is free. Um, that's just the way I do things. And these bars are about 1.5 inches thick. Some roses are thicker than others. So, therefore, the bar will be thicker. But they will last you a really long time, because this bar of soap is already really, really hard. And they smell, oh god, they smell awesome. I'll just stick this rose petal right on in here. There you go. See? It's really, really pretty. It's a good hunk of soap. These will be six dollar bars. That's mm -hmm. because they're going to weigh probably close to ten ounces. Oh no. Nine to ten ounces, I would say. I can tell by the weight, but then they'll go down just. Oop, drag mark. That's okay though. I get that off when I clean them too. But there's not many blow holes in it. It's got me amazed. Because I really thought there would be. I really, 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 really did. Thank you, Lord. For making my soap. Look halfway decent for all the problems it gave me. A blow hole. But like I said, I'm going to cut it down some anyhow. Or I'll just try to dampen some of the extra soap batter. And stick it in the holes. I just got to figure out how I'm going to wrap these ones because the roses on the top are very, very, very thin. It is soap, um, but it is very, very thin. Nice. So the only part of this soap that is really messed up is just the very bottom here. Take like a, I don't know, an eighth of an inch off the bottom. That'd be a perfect bar of soap. And it will still weigh well over 5 ounces. So in these soaps here, you will be getting probably like 2 bars of soap for the price of one. Because they're so big. I will be right back. Okay, I am back. Hope y'all still got you in here. I got a couple more pieces to cut. Had to take care of something. Okay, my hands are sterilized, clean, if you are wondering, don't say putting a pair of gloves on, that I am allergic to, for two soaps. Yes! Yes! Okay. It's not the kind of pattern I wanted in this soap, but hey, not too bad. You can see the gold sparkly mica right here just a little bit. They're definitely going to be worth the money. Definitely. Okay guys, if you like my video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And hit the like button. And you can tap the notification bell for future videos. Or entertainment, as this soap went. Heck, it even entertained me when I watched it. Um, but yeah, those of you who have subscribed to my channel, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. It helps me keep going. Um, those of you who didn't, well, that's okay, too. I'm glad you're watching my videos. But if you want to subscribe, hit the subscribe button and the like and the bell for future notifications. Okay, guys, that's it for now. I will see you later on my next video. Bless it be.